Hi everybody, Josh Nichols here with you. It is 10.45 a.m. and it is time for your midday digital weather update on this Tuesday morning. Hope everybody uh, is enjoying some of the light snow that is coming down here. Uh, in Rochester as of 7 a.m., which is when the official observations are taken, uh, we understand that uh, seven tenths of an inch of snow was measured on the snowboard officially, uh, but I'm sure we'll probably see that number uh, climb before the day is out as it's still snowing and it uh, will snow through early this afternoon, at least lightly. Uh, Stafford has had an inch, Warsaw two inches, Canandaigua Uh, you had a half inch in Bristol Harbor checking in with a quarter inch. So a very modest light snowfall, uh, the kind that you can just wipe off the car and uh, move right along uh, with a snow brush or uh, maybe uh, on your stoop uh, just using a whisk broom. Uh, as far as more snowfall uh, through tomorrow, well, another uh, one to three inches likely uh, along the 104 corridor here uh, from, say, about oh, Hamlin uh, to uh, Webster. Uh, to Walcott, uh, Oswego Way as well, uh, all looking at that possibility of a plume of lake effect snow to make its way uh, basically from the big lake south. And uh, what will happen is uh, at times uh, we'll get, uh, because of the fluff factor, uh, we could see some pretty good snowfall rates. That would happen much later tonight, overnight tonight, into tomorrow. And then again, tomorrow night into Thursday, we could see another couple of inches in spots. Uh, there are actually lake effect snow warnings out for areas northeast of Wayne County out around Oswego Way and uh, northern Cayuga County. As far as snowfall for the season goes, we're up to nearly 44 inches. Well, actually, this number will be updated uh, because we've had uh, seven tenths of an inch. So, uh, indeed, uh, there is a, a more... Uh, Uh, frozen times and more flakiness in our future. Live sky shows light snow coming down here in Rochester. The visibility is still at about a couple of miles. By about lunchtime, we should see the snow winding down. Uh, my projected high for today is 27. We're up to 22 right now. Not too much wind out there. It's a nice gentle snow. Uh, still snowing lightly at about lunchtime, but later this afternoon, wouldn't be shocked to see a few breaks in the clouds. Actually seeing signs of breaks in the clouds now around Toronto. So that promises uh, to give us at least maybe a, a peak or two uh, of, uh, of, of clear sky before the sun sets. And then uh, later tonight is when we do expect that lake effect snow. Again, our future is frozen and flaky. Note some of the temperatures here uh, for the weekend uh, into the teens for highs. That is uh, definitely a, a cold stretch there. And I count uh, more opportunities for area-wide snow. One on Friday one on Sunday. So, and then of course you've got the lake effect prospects for uh, tonight, tomorrow night, Thursday morning. So, like I said, it's a frozen flaky uh, future. Satellite radar shows the snow exiting to our east and uh, just some uh, fine flurries coming down now. Uh, we will see a little bit of that lake effect as I mentioned much later tonight. And uh, there's the snow exiting to our east. Lake effect snow warnings up for, again, northern Cuga, Oswego County, but uh, not here in Rochester. Future cast shows, again, some of those breaks that I mentioned uh, across the region uh, developing. And then there's that plume of lake effect snow. You see it right there. And uh, that is going to set up uh, overnight. And it will reside primarily north of Rochester, northern Monroe, northern Orleans, Uh, northern uh, Wayne County on that famed 104 quarter, and we'll continue uh, into northern Cuga and uh, Oswego Way uh, later tomorrow. Tomorrow night, the band's going to try to drift south again, and it uh, might impact uh, your commute uh, through northeast Monroe even and uh, Wayne County early Thursday. And then we get a little break, and then an area-wide light snow, I think, will come our way on Friday, and that's reflected there in the eight-day forecast in addition to some leftover lake flakes on Saturday. Another round of snow uh, on Sunday, light, most likely. We will watch that. And then maybe another system to watch on Tuesday. So we're making up for a little lost time here as uh, the flakes continue to fly. That is the very latest, everybody. Have a wonderful Tuesday, and we'll see you back here soon. Take care.